Good morning. I'm Mike Mazzalongo, and this is your Monday Morning Devotional. Today, I'd like to talk to you about an experience I had as a young father many years ago. It began when my youngest son, William, came home from school one day feeling a little low. The teacher sent home a long list of things that had been forgotten, ignored, and left incomplete. I lectured him about the importance of schoolwork and how critical fifth grade was in the proper development of a normal human being. Well, the look on his face when he left the kitchen told me he wasn't convinced. A little later, I went upstairs to see him for a lap talk. The lecture method had obviously failed, so I tried taking him into my arms and sitting him on my lap for further conversation. While I held him, he told me about the offending lapses in his performance, the teacher's demands, and so on and so forth, and then he revealed the real problem behind all of the fuss. He had made no buddies yet at his new school. I had forgotten that two weeks is a long time to go without friends and the loneliness was showing itself in his work. After some reassuring words, a little help in finishing assignments, and a visit from one of his friends from the old neighborhood, he was okay. Will's experience reminded me of the importance of friendship and how the lack of meaningful relationships can make us depressed and even ineffective in our work. This is one reason why the fellowship that Christians enjoy at worship is so important. Church life is a great opportunity for us to be with our friends, make new friends, extend friendship to those who are lonely, and introduce your friends to each other. Let's take advantage of the Lord's Day to do any or all of these things with our friends. I'm sure Will would have benefited from such an approach if they had had it at his school. Discussion questions. Number one. What are some effective ways we can help integrate visitors and new members into the life of the church? Number two, who was the person that helped you feel part of the family at church, and what did they do to bring you in? Number three, in your opinion, what are the greatest obstacles to forming meaningful relationships, not only at church, but every area of life? And how do you overcome these?